we have to do one more U-turn, I'm literally going to be dizzy. I'm going to have to throw up. And if you call the freaking GPS GP Susie one more time, I'm going to hit you with that brick of a phone. Hey, and knock you out. Got Dolly Parton. <laughs> we lit. We're doing another U-turn? Yeah. This oh, my gosh. She's not me. We're in Laguna Beach, California. After meeting the one, the only Gunnar Peterson yesterday, Today, we are going to have a flex off with some of the biggest arms in Laguna Beach. Also, CrossFit Games champion, Jason Kalipa. I've never met Jason Kalipa. I remember in 2012, 2013, absolutely going nuts with this dude's videos, watching him, uh, just being inspired. I'm pretty pumped to meet him, see his gym, and also beat him in a workout. So, we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and we are here with the CrossFit Games champion, 2008, and we're gonna check out his gym. Let's do it. To kind of set the tone, this gym we built out during COVID. This is my in-laws house, and I wanted to set something up down here when my family and I would come down here. This is what I did, and one of the pieces of that was for the TV, for my wife, for my father-in-law, for all of us to train with. So you're using this every day? Uh, on a re When I'm down here? Yeah. yeah, every day you're training, okay. Yeah. In this bucket over here, um, before we talk about some of the equipment, I wanted to see this bucket. This has the original Pukey on it with CrossFit Santa Clara Kalipa Inc. My original first ever gym was called CrossFit Santa Clara. And this is 2008 we opened. And a gentleman came by one day. He's like, I have a gift for you. And he, he had printed this out online <laughs> and taped it to the bucket. And this is obviously the technology back in 2008 wasn't what it is yeah, today. Yeah, look how like, <laughs> yeah. It's, just like, like, it's pretty like great, yeah. you know. And uh, the original company was Kalipa Inc. We then Sweet. went through a bunch of different stuff, but it's no longer that. That's cool. My original company was called Coop Distries. So, <laughs> Coop <yeah>. Distries. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Over here we got C2 Rower, C2 Bike, Air Bike Elite. Um, yeah. We talked a little bit about, obviously you've done marathon rows. This is probably near and dear to your heart. Do you row very much anymore? Yeah, I row regularly when it shows up in our workouts. You know, when we were setting up this gym for like a COVID gym at my in-laws, things I thought about were dumbbells, kettlebells, weights, a rack, and this form of cardio, yeah, right? I yeah. think an assault bike and a rower is a great place to start, and you could obviously go run outside. And um, so I kept it pretty minimal. I didn't, I didn't rubber out the floors um, because we have our own mats and stuff. Totally, yeah. And if you want to see if somebody actually uses the rower, you can check out both the marks on the menu button, which is absolutely destroyed. 1,904,236 meters rode on this bad boy. So if you're curious, like, oh, is this dude being truthful? Just look at the buttons, look at the meters, and then the worn down hand. That dude, is impressive, dude. I, I've never looked at that before. That's a lot that's, of meters. That's a lot of time spent on a rower. It'll, and you, it'll show time too. Over 138 hours spent on that freaking thing. <laughs> That's insane. So if you want to know what it takes to build a body like that, gosh dang. Over here, this is a rep functional trainer. I, tell me a little bit about this. I know you got this, I think Recently. you said your father-in-law. Yeah, like so my father-in-law is uh, where he, he's interested in this style, more like bodybuilding type yeah. style. So we just got this recently. It's pretty cool. I mean, so far the build on it is really well done. I like the adjustable bench. Yep. It's just another tool in the toolbox. Totally, yeah. And it's a super thoughtful design in that they're shorter so they can fit like anybody's ceilings. They have anodized aluminum rails so like they're not scratching. 112 pound stacks on both of them that are super thin and they got a lot of travel. Uh, they're sweet pieces. In between here, you got a rep. What is that? Is that the zero gap or the it's AB? Yeah, that's AB 5000 zero gap. That's pretty sweet. Okay, yeah. cool. Over here, uh, some strongman sandbags. Oh, dude, I've been messing with these quite a bit lately. It's just nice to switch it up, right? So like, I like the, the 150 is pretty heavy, but the 100 for lapping yep. and over the shoulder, yeah. I like a lot. Uh, for the 150, they're just good for like grunt work and holds. Totally, totally. Yeah, so they got these nice flap zipper underneath and then you just fill them up really yeah. simple. I like them to use them in place of, obviously they're perfect in place of like Atlas stones, which suck and like they break your floor and all sorts oh, yeah. of stuff. But they're also great if you do them a little lighter for like slam ball stuff. Over here, we've got the Almighty Power Rack. 
housed within its own power rack sanctum. Oh. This is pretty cool because it's got a yeah. it's got a second deck. I don't know if you see that. They cut the I, concrete out. I don't know if this is like for what's like for a boat. I don't know what the deal is. It's kind of a it's kind of cool because like when my daughter's in here training, she could jump on that. That's cool. Right? So when we're traveling down here, it's a nice way to get them kind of engaged on stuff. And then yeah, I've used the hell out of this rack. It's been cool. I I, I like it. So this is a PR four thousand. <laughs> Three by three, 11 gauge he knows, steel. He knows all the names of everything. Five inch I couldn't holes. tell you. I can tell you the colors. I know everything on these. Uh, so my father-in-law loves red. He's like a super big into like bright colors. Cool. So I figure, hey, let's set that up for him. <laughs> He's pumped. Yeah. That's awesome. And then it's got the uh, lat pull down integration yeah. in the middle. Multi-grip pull-up bar with fat side, thin side, rep saber bar, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's a newer one. I also have the um, Gladiator one over cool. there. Cool, cool, yeah. And then this is the FB5000. Um, do you like the fat pad, the thicker? I like the other one better, okay. um, but I do like the fat pad. So cool. I have like some of the old, um, like thinner pads at my uh, at my other house, yeah. but I actually like the thicker pad personally. Definitely, I'm the same way, cool. Uh, a bunch of yeah. plates back here, yeah. dumbbells. Uh, yeah, and so like when I ordered this stuff in, I just ordered in uh, dumbbells, kettlebells, wall balls. Um, I got three different sizes of wall balls. Uh, I just wanted to have it available for my wife, my in-laws, and my kids. So eight, 14, and 20 for myself. And then I have dumbbells here that go up to 75. Uh, for the most part, I use up to the 55s, unless I'm doing single arm DB snatches and stuff like that, then I'll go a little bit heavier. Are you using dumbbells very much? Or are you oh, yeah. using bar most of the time? I use dumbbells more, okay. probably more often. Okay. Like especially like the 35s, the 45s, I use those a lot. That's something that we have at uh, all of our oh. gyms, at my house and here is an AED. So, um, Tell me why. Well, I is mean- Is that a recommendation you would give for home gym owners to have? God forbid something goes down. Like if we had an extra one, might as well have it. And frankly, I would probably buy one, yeah. yeah. It's the first time I've seen one in a garage gym, but I, honestly, I'm surprised I haven't seen more of them. I think it's a great idea, especially if you're bringing people into your gym. This here, is there any, is this special at all? I see the CrossFit, was this yeah. used in the games? Yeah, it was. Okay. So this one- uh, Check out I, the loco, like this is so early on. This has dude, to be- Dude, this is not a bike that I normally ride. It's a single speed and we used it in the 2011 single CrossFit speed. games for uh, Camp Pendleton. You got this gym, you've got another garage gym. Yep. You've got all your NC Fit locations. Yeah. How often are you training in the garage gym versus at your NC Fit location? When I'm here, I train here every day. When I'm not here and I'm at home, I'll use the garage gym, I'd say probably four days a week at some capacity, whether it's just a cardio session, whether it's, you know, jujitsu with my son, and then I'll go to our gyms every day. Okay, we've seen Jason's garage gym, one of multiple, despite having so many different gym locations, uh, he still trains in the garage gym because the garage gym is best. I don't know if he'd say that because he obviously owns a lot of commercial gyms, so it's maybe like antithesis to what he does. However, a garage gym is important. Um, but Jason, thanks for letting us see your garage gym. We are going to train in the garage gym because it's not enough just to see the equipment. We have to use it, put some extra meters because there's not enough on the C2 rower. Thanks for letting us see your gym, brother. Of course. Sweet, let's get a workout. So today we're gonna do a workout following NC Fit Plus. It's an app, if you'd like to see it, check it out in the link below the like button. We'll also put a card up so you can check it out. However, the workout today, you wanna to tell me what it is? Yeah, it's just gonna be bike, pull up, sit up, 18 minute EMOM. We're gonna follow along with Coach MDV on the screen today. And then after that, uh, I think I'm gonna put Coop through a little something, little, little extra credit, I think. Sweet, beautiful. All right, let's get smoked. <laughs> 30 seconds. Now it's rest. Three, two, one, big pull up. That's 10 reps down. I'm pretty happy with that number so far. I still got another 15 seconds, so I can do another set here, three or four reps. 13 reps in that first round. Sit ups are our final minute here. That's a full minute of sit up. I'm gonna use my arms to throw for momentum. Sitting all the way up at the top. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Let's go. Last go, last five. Three, two, one. Woo! Man. There we go. 15 seconds, we're up on our pull ups. I did 13 last round. Try and hit 13 again.
and go one minute. Turn, get back to it. You're gonna get on. 15 seconds. Eyes forward, do the work. Three, two, one. That's it. If you did that right, you might be cursing me right now. That's okay. Thank you later. What did you think of the on demand experience, dude? Like for extra motivation, having the guy there with you, coaching you, feels a lot like I was in a CrossFit class. Like, which is the experience ultimately that a lot of people are missing within the garage gym is like the ability to have somebody pushing you. And yeah, I had Jason here pushing me, but I also had MDV bastard pushing me. <laughs> And uh, it was a cool experience. It was good. Yeah. So if you're missing a little bit of an extra push, download the NC Fit app, and we've secured a discount just for Garage Gym Review subscribers. If you use the code GARAGE, you'll get 15% off for the life of the subscription after a free seven-day trial. All right. We did the workout. I feel like the horseshoe of my tricep has protruded just a little bit more. <laughs> just being in the pro, oh my gosh, it just covered the whole screen. That thing, keep that thing away, man. You make me look bad. But uh, we're gonna go get some lunch. We're gonna go paddleboard because we're right by the ocean. And being in the Midwest, it's a no coast. There's nothing there. So we're gonna go do that. Thanks for following along. We'll see you next time. Peace.